I imagine there are a lot of collectibles in this game. I don't know how I'm doing on collectibles. Pubs grasping at straws. Why? What's up, Marshall? Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had towns far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. That is ominous. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? Yeah, no, they kidnapped him. I need to see Dylan. I need to know. you could tell me what you know explain things just stay with me okay I could use a friend right now oh look it says Jesse he knows I'm here hello brother like my rewards for those okay we got a new hotline call from the board I get the exclusive treatment, it seems. Faden finds a corrupted organism very so wildly. What's the connection? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that black rock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. The I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives. So many combat applications. Slicing, stabbing, gouging. 
sorry. I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. This place is looking good. Arisha's making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. Probably not enough. How is HRA production coming along? <laughs> Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. We never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. Yeah, she will. What's this? That? What? I'm so confused. UI, stop being stupid to me. Okay, there we go. Linguistic ability. Researchers were sent to transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss entities. In the interest of safety, this was done with the non-aggressive floating Hiss entities. However, no distinction between this repeating phrase and the one repeated by the more violent Hiss entities has been observed. What is the purpose of this repeated, repeating string of words? Is this how the Hiss corrupts individuals? Does the chant produce a physical effect? Is it a message? An incantation? We were able to record a first-hand recitation of the chanting. See the corresponding audio file. Okay, so where is Arish? Where is he chilling out? Because he's supposed to be here too. Pope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. Welcome back. Arish. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number. 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Interesting. So the jukebox has some sort of teleportation capability. America Overnight Results. The America Overnight program has operated successfully for over redacted years, originally designed to assist in providing disinformation to the naturally skeptical population of America. It has additionally led to the discovery of numerous AWEs and altered materials by allowing civilians to call in and report their experiences with the paranatural. In fact, America Overnight alerted the Bureau of Redacted and Redacted in its first year of operation alone. In this report, the investigations sector have cataloged and categorized each episode of America Overnight that has resulted in a successful bureau investigation in order to help AWE occurrence analysis. The more redacted results of Night Springs have also been cataloged in a separate report. For a file for more info. And then this is going to be that recording, yeah, about the jukebox. So this is all the America Overnight. Is this an episode or is this some music? Oh, let me take a look. Aha, I had a feeling. I'm 
mostly just taking them based on rarity than anything else. More energy or launch energy costs. Let's take more energy. Yes, I've seen this jukebox. But it won't let me in. Set times. Alright, Arish, where are you at, my friend? Something goes through things fast. Just like we handled that altered item making everyone drown themselves in the toilets. Para utility. Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the redacted object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of redacted, while others are only capable of as little as redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation for more information. Uh, what exactly determines an individual's paranatural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some redacted exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering this request. Who is that chilling next to me, you keep wondering? That is my wonderful girlfriend. Uh, she is in her like last week of college so she's studying she has a final exam tomorrow uh but she usually has class when i stream so she she wants to spend the stream just next to me because she hasn't been able to lately but yeah her name is abby she streams with me every once in a while but she's been too busy with school lately Unless, of course, you were referring to my cat, who is uh, laying on the couch right next to me on this side. We have two cats. One of them is much more well-behaved than the other one. <laughs> I wish her luck, too. Pope's promotion. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Ms. Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports redacted for breakthroughs resulting from her work. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Ms. Pope to the position of research specialist. Congratulations, Ms. Pope. You deserve it. Collective unconscious. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of the unconscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge, linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Young Report. Through this collective unconscious, we unknowingly attribute a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power sheer amount of redacted exuded is attracted to the most to the best representation of that image imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted theoretically places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief weird all right i'm i'm here looking for arish and i keep getting distracted by all these collectibles i keep hoping that i'm hearing arish talking but he just I don't know where he is. God, there's more collectibles. Oh, no, that's, never mind. That's just the radio. Unimportant. Alright. And Arish isn't, like, in this room somewhere. Alright, I'm just gonna presume he's elsewhere then. I'm gonna stop hunting for him. You think he's in the middle? Hope wants us to compile all of Darling's data entries from the past month. Uh, unless I am incredibly blind. I'm not seeing my friend here. We'll try again next time, I guess. Hope's grasping at straws. Alright, uh, wrong button. If his is 
I have two missions now. I have uh, a main quest and a side quest. We're going to do the side quest one. Or at least I think it's a side quest. I don't know if it's a side quest. I don't know, I don't know the difference. Locate Dr. Underhill below Central Research. And why couldn't it migrate molecules in order to alter the physiology? Let me turn these in. Reward me. Oh, I think I abandoned that. I thought I had it. Okay. Never mind. Maintenance. Okay. I'll take this one. And that one. And sure. It would Kill enemies with it in spin mode. I can do that. I want to switch from using pierce to spin. Do I have a level 4 for spin? I do. Alright, we need to go to central thinkable. research. Yeah, no, that that's Marshall sitting at the table. Don't know where Arish is, but they've they mentioned that he's there, so he he might show up there after the next mission or something. I don't know. Okay, below central research. I do recall seeing a like a mold infested area. at the bottom of the central research. So let's go check that out. They say that she does mold, mold related stuff. You can abandon missions, just reroll for the good ones. That's nice that there's not like a limit to the missions that you get. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen an elevator at a right angle. Fuck, fuck that. That upsets me. All right, that's not the way I want to go. Oh, there was a place of power here too. Fantastic. Oh wow, I'm doing the bureau alert unintentionally. time I have left to finish this thing. button, but don't worry about it. Come, my friend. Okay. How many enemies are there to kill? You're my friend now, too.
Well, I don't like that. Help me kill the big guy. I just took out my own teammate by pulling in the item. Alright, he's dead. Okay. Well, I'm... I'm done here. I've completed my mission. You guys are on your own now. See you later. <laughs> just abandoning them. Okay. Now... Oh, this room. Great. I honestly took like the most backwards way I could to get to Central Research, I swear. I really did. God. You know what? Fuck it. We are going to... Central Executive? And we're taking the elevator. Because <laughs> that gets me where I need to go. Since I'm apparently incapable of functioning as a human being. Research. Thank you. Thank God. Alright, yep. I'm good at pressing buttons. Especially the wrong ones. Alright, we gotta get to the bottom of Central Research. Are you gonna attack me? Because, like, every time I run past here, I get attacked. No? Cool, thanks. Alright, yeah, so it was over here that I saw it. Are, are you Dr. Underhill? Are you Dr. Underhill? Dr. Underhill? No? Are you Dr. Underhill? Are you... Is that just because I... Okay, yes. It's because I, I walked on you. <laughs> this is the room with the weird music, right? I think she's here. These two are are locked. Like, yeah, this is what I saw. Do I need to go down there? This is probably death. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently I am supposed to go down here. The Pit. What a wonderful name for a place. Ah, it's a toilet. 